Vermod, Vermod, Vermod. One of the most controversial English dub voices throughout the Dragon Ball Super dub. So in the Universe Survival arc, more particularly the Zeno Expo or the Zen Exhibition match in the Japanese dub, the mod is voiced by Marcus Lloyd and he has a controversial voice because it is a more laid back, relaxed, casual voice than what we saw in the Japanese version with the, um, you know, Universe 11 God of Destruction the mod um, Japanese voice. And Marcus Lloyd, I think, does a good job. I think it's more the script that, um, you know, makes the voice sort of um, controversial rather than uh, what his voice is like because the script that he is given is rather relaxed and casual, especially compared to the Supreme Kai K and also the, um, you know, Universe 11 Angel. Compared to those two deities, the Universe 11 God of Destruction, the mod, seems rather relaxed and casual and has a casual manner of speaking. And I think it's more due to the lines than anything because Marcus Lloyd, you know, he probably has range. I mean, he's in this. He's been in this business for quite a while now, the voice acting business. He, you know, probably has quite a lot of range, and he seems like the guy that can do a sort of professional sounding voice, but the script wants him to be sort of this casual sort of character, especially compared to the Japanese version. I'm not too sure why that is. I mean, maybe because he's a clown, you know, the mod is a clown, so, you know, maybe he... They, like the script writers, they were like, oh, let's make him sort of have a casual sort of relaxed voice about him. I'm not entirely sure, but just, you know, compared especially to the, uh, you know, Kaioshin and the Universe 11 Angel, he does have a relaxed voice about him, and, um, you know, he has just a very casual uh, voice, like, you know, laid back, um, which, you know, is a contrast to the Japanese, but I don't hate... Marcus Lloyd's interpretation of the mod, as I think it is more of a script issue in general, and this Zeno Expo, you know, the Zeno Expo episodes, um, you know, in particular episode 81 of the Dragon Ball Super English dub, it's just, um, I don't know, the scripts are rather liberal in the Zeno Expo um, episodes, and, you know, even episode 82, which um, includes Goku versus Top or Topo in the Japanese dub, even that was rather liberal, um, you know, with its scripts. I mean, like, it was accurate to a sense, but it was, like, also quite liberal, and, you know, a lot of the jokes were sort of, not even the jokes, a lot of the lines were, I guess, turned into a joke. Um, you know, Beerus saying, um, you know, in the Japanese, he is like, I think he dislocated Goku's arm. You know, in the English dub, he's like, oh, I think um, he, you know, took out Goku's arm, you know, like a tri like a chicken drumstick, you know. Or like, you know, like, um, you know, that was an example, like, um, you know, it was uh, kind of like liberal and uh, it turned, you know, a scene that had a lot of tension with, um, you know, comedy. So, you know. The, the scripts have been quite liberal, and I think with a better script and a script that suits the mod's character a bit more, that can suit, um, you know, Marcus Lloyd can adapt and, you know, uh, make the voice a bit better, because I, th I do think it is the script, and then that translates into the voice direction that Marcus Lloyd has been given to, you know, play the mod up as a casual sort of uh, god of destruction, while, you know, the Universe 11 Angel and Kaioshin um, are, you know, more professional in nature. So, what do I think of Marcus Lloyd as the mod? I don't hate the character, um, you know, the character's English dub voice. I just think it is more of a script issue. And if the script, you know, allows Marcus Lloyd to be, you know, to sound more professional, um, you know, because uh, the script uses a lot of, like, yes and, um, you know, a lot of slang phrases, and if the script was, you know, tightened up a bit more to sort of fit the professional nature of the God of Destruction, you know, the Universe 11 God of Destruction, it would have been fine. But that is what 
my opinion is. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section down below regarding the mod, his character, um, you know, in the English dub, his character's uh, voice, and also the script given to Marcus Lloyd and to, you know, written for the mod in the dub. So let me know in the comments that's going to do it for me. Please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, quick little review of Dragon Ball Super Episode 82 of the English dub. As I said, you know, as I sort of hinted at before, the... The script is quite liberal. It wasn't terrible in this episode, but it's still, it was, it was pretty, you know, subpar compared to other Dragon Ball Super English dub scripts. But the voices, you know, um, Ray Heard is Topo or Top, and Sean Shamal is Goku, as always, is incredible. They do a great job, you know, especially with this fight. Uh, Goku vs. Top, they just do a brilliant job voice acting, and uh, yeah, even if the script is kind of, um, you know, wonky at points. But yeah, that's going to do it for me. As I said before, please make sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.